I'm Richard Roper. Next, Vin Diesel and Paul Walker have taken their high-speed act to Rio, but they may have met their match in Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's my review of Fast Five right now. I thought the Fast and the Furious franchise ran out of gas with that Tokyo Drift crap, but installment number five, called Fast Five, doesn't suck. Well, there are times when it's amazingly, jaw-droppingly dumb, but on balance, and I swear nobody's off-screen holding a gun to my head, this movie's pretty damn entertaining. So I see you've all met. So what's this all about, Dom? Yeah, man, why'd you drag us halfway around the world? Because we got a job. Even though Fast Five is a live-action film, it's the most action-packed cartoon I've seen this year. You want plausibility? You want consequences when characters are involved in crashes and leaps that would take down most superheroes? You want solid dialogue? Well, you better look elsewhere. But if you want great-looking stars in their comfort zone and some hilariously over-the-top action sequences, then you've come to the right place. This just went from Mission Impossible to Mission of Freaking Sanity. Paul Walker, still looking good and still unable to act his way out of a paper bag, is ex-cop Brian O'Connor. Vin Diesel is the stoic and ever-flexing Dom who clumps around the garage making big plans and talking about the importance of family. Also back is Jordana Brewster as Brian's woman and Dom's sister. They're all in Rio planning a huge heist with their Ocean's Eleven type of gang, but Dwayne Johnson's special agent Hobbs is obsessed with bringing them down. We find them, we take them as a team, and we bring them back. And above all else, we don't ever, ever let them get in the cars. Even after a crime lord puts a bounty on each of their heads, the Fast Five bunch kind of hides in plain sight in Rio. Director Justin Lin stages some outlandish chase sequences as the gang plots their takedown of some $100 million in cash. Now, if you start asking questions like why the crime boss would put all his money into a safe instead of something like Google stock, again, wrong movie. I only live once. Let's do it. What do you say, Don? We talking or we racing? With some awful dialogue, some easily predictable plot turns, and a running time that drags past two hours, Fast Five is hardly without its flaws. But you've got some Maxim Magazine level eye candy for the guys and all those hunks for the ladies. You've got those gorgeous muscle cars. You've got beautiful scenery in Rio. And you even get an applause inducing post credit scene that sets up the sixth and supposedly final entry in the franchise. Fast Five knows exactly what it wants to be, and it is firing on most cylinders. I give it a B. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel, TV About Movies.